just last week I was watching Manchester United against Manchester City in the Carabao Cup semifinal, and I want my time back. That was terrible. I mean, Manchester United looked <laughs> they looked absolutely atrocious. This team was was getting absolutely humiliated by a much better side, Manchester City. Manchester City toyed with United all game long. And it, 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 it was almost a little bit embarrassing towards the end where the players, the Manchester City players, were literally like half-assing these passes. Like they, they weren't putting, you can tell that they weren't putting everything into it. And even even if they lost the ball, they weren't running fast enough. That's kind of how United scored their goal. Um, the only thing that has them alive for the second leg in a couple of weeks. That's the only thing. Ole Gunnar, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. That's a tough name. Try to say they. I can't speak today. What's going on? Um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I think that's how you pronounce it. He had no response. He had no response. There, there was a shot of him like in the. I think it was probably after the third goal. Um, <laughs> and he was on the bench like this. He had no response. No response at all. And I mean, when you have a world class manager that you're going up against, um, it's kinda I have to say, it's pretty it's pretty rough if you have no responses. So there you go. A tactical masterclass by Mr. Pep Guardiola over Solskjaer. But you fast forward to Saturday and you see what happened on Saturday in the Premier League. And you take a look at how good Manchester United looked. And you see that they won 4 nothing, And you see that everything was going their way. And you're like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. How, why do you guys play so bad one game? And then you play good the next game right after. Why? Is there like no middle ground? Do you guys either play like the old Manchester United or do you play like David Moyes' Manchester United? Like what? Where is it? Great teams are supposed to find a balance. And that's my biggest concern with Manchester United going forward. It is not normal to have such such a a gap. You got to have some sort of balance. You have to. And Manchester United hasn't found a balance ever since Sir Alex Ferguson left. It's been a while. I mean, they 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 haven't had a consistent level. Big teams have to have a consistent level. Chelsea, as much hate as they get, they've been consistent, consistently winning for the last 10 years. Uh, Tottenham, they've become a better team. Sure, they're struggling right now. They made the Champions League final. They might not make the Champions League final this season, but they're there. They're competing. You look at teams like Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich. They're competing. And even Manchester City, you look at Manchester City, they maintain a similar level. And that's something that Manchester United has lacked. Why have they lacked this consistency? To me, it's very simple. They don't have an identity. They bring in coaches as immediate fixes, not as something long-term, not something permanent. They bring in coaches with different philosophies very often. Um, I mean, you go from Sir Alex Ferguson to David Moyes, and then Ryan Giggs took over, and then it's Luis Van Gaal, and then it's Jose Mourinho, and 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 then it's uh, Solskjaer. So, you, it's it's such a discrepancy between these styles. You don't really know what Manchester United wants to play like. You don't understand. And also, they've whiffed on so many signings since Sir Alex Ferguson left. They've whiffed on so many signings, Manchester United. I hate to break it to you all, Manchester United fans, but Manchester United's no longer a European elite. At least not for now. They're not a European elite. It's going to take time. You have to rebuild. And I think that the biggest... The biggest problem with Manchester United right now has been, uh, yeah, maybe they still see themselves as a European giant, but they're playing, they're, they're playing Europa League. Sorry, you can't be a European giant and play a Europa League. 
you know, they they even won one <laughs> like three years ago. They they won it, but still. Manchester United is not a European elite anymore. At least not now. Players don't want to go there anymore. I remember when it was a privilege. It was an honor to be scouted by Manchester United. But now, a young guy, a young and -and up-and-comer, is being scouted by Manchester United. He's like, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Look away. Look away. They might go away if we don't pay attention. No one wants to go to Manchester United. Because there's no structure there. It's kind of like, all right, whatever. Something's going to work. You got to have some sort of path. Same thing what we said about Arsenal. There was no path uh, a few months ago. Now there's a path. There's not going to be immediate results. They're not going to win the Champions League next season. But there's a path. Manchester United has no path. But don't worry, Manchester United fans. Do not worry. There's a way that this can be fixed. Stay on those young guys. Give them all the confidence in the world. Marcus Rashford, Mason Greenwood, um, Anthony Martial. Try not to sign so many superstars because, let's face it, not many of these superstars want to go to Manchester United anymore. Work with the youth. Bring those guys up. Mold them into the Manchester United player that you want them to be. Keep on working with those guys. Why not? It's the time, right now, since no one wants to play for you guys, might as well. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of talent in the youth system waiting for an opportunity because they probably grew up Manchester United fans. Just do it. It's perfect. Establish yourself as a team that gives an opportunity to young players. They're kind of doing it right now. Just go all in. All in on these young players. Again, there's probably talent. There has to be a lot of talent there. Go all in. And then, once you establish yourself again as a European elite, then the superstars are going to draw themselves in. It's a process. Step by step. Baby steps Arsenal fans. Baby steps Manchester United fans. Because what happened? The shock to the system after Sir Alex Ferguson left hasn't it hasn't left them they still kind of have the i feel like manchester united fans are just they're they're like waiting like i wonder when sir alex ferguson is coming back he's not coming back guys he's not let's face it he's not coming back build for build with what you have if you if you want to i mean you're kind of used to just bring in a different manager someone that can work with the youth maybe solskjaer isn't it or he might be it who knows But it's time to look in the mirror and say, you know what? We have to change. We have to change a lot in order to be a European giant once again. 